How you doing? This is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh, and this is Trump Talk. And a new article in USA Today, they may be on to something. Black Lives Matter, the Bernie Sanders radicals, and the radical element in the left that Hillary Clinton has no choice but to support because she can't dare be seen as anti-Black Lives Matter and pro-cop may turn the election over to Donald Trump. And USA Today is saying this is parallel to Nixon who ran as a anti-crime candidate. All I know is that every time one of these rallies happens and a bunch of protesters turn up and they um, disrupt the Trump rally, pounce on the stage, engage in fights with Trump supporters, it gives more votes to Donald Trump, not less. So Black Lives Matters may be Black Lives Obscure you know, by November, that no one will want to hear them, no one will want to see them, they'll be booed out of town. The same with the Bernie Sanders supporters. It'll be a footnote in American political history. And so will Hillary Clinton. If she loses the election, she won't run again because it'll be past, quote, her time, end quote, as we've been told for years. So let's see what happens if there are more of these confrontations. Because I think sooner or later, the Trump people are going to get fed up, even though Donald Trump said, don't react to them, don't fight them. But it will be the anarchist and the disruptors who will start using violence, not the peaceful Trump supporters who, when you look at their rallies, they're sitting there quietly and peacefully in the arenas and standing quietly and peacefully outside the arenas, waiting in the cold, waiting in lines for hours to see Donald Trump. And they're not waiting in line to see Black Lives Matters, Bernie Madoff, I mean, not Bernie Madoff, Bernie Sanders supporters, or uh, bust in people paid by George Soros. So, um, I think it's going to be huge. And tomorrow is big primary. Rubio is going down. And little Mario, they're talking he could run for governor of Florida. I don't think he'll be elected dog catcher. People don't. He's the least liked of all of Trump's opponents. And I don't think he has a chance in hell for further political office in Florida. Not until he changes his act. All right, this is the guy from Pittsburgh. I'll catch you next time. And I'll do another video when I get home. Bye-bye.